Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I'm just going to throw a quick meal together tonight with nothing. Just to show you at the end of the month, a day or two before payday, you ain't got nothing in the house to eat. You think you don't have anything in the house to eat. You got to improvise. Do something. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I got a bag of pasta. I got a chicken breast. I got some chorizo that I baked off this morning. We had it for breakfast, so it's left over. I got a half an onion. Got a little bit of barbecue sauce. This is about a fourth of a jar of barbecue sauce. Chili powder, some cumin. Got me some Rotel. Uh, I got the uh, fire roasted brand. Uh, whatever. You know, that's what I had in the house. Got some garlic powder. So I got to cut the uh, onion and the chorizo and the chicken up. I got water on cooking for the pasta. So let me get all this prepped up and then uh, we'll come back and we'll show you how to build this. And we'll make a meal from nothing. Just when you think you don't have anything to cook, you really do. I'm just here to show you. Be back in a few. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do have a little bit of olive oil left, so we're going to put some of that in our skillet. And we're going to throw our chicken in there. I got it all cut up now. And we'll throw the chicken in there and let it cook. I got my water uh, boiling for my pasta. I got everything cut up over here. And yes, I did violate my three knife rule tonight. Three beer rule. Three beer rule. Yeah, Just cook. you say it. So, yeah, I drank some beer today. But, I got all my chopping done and I ain't cutting myself. So, I'm going to throw that in there like that. I'm going to mix this about. I'll put some seasons on here. Be right back. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Huh? Alright, so I'll put some garlic in there. A little bit of garlic powder. Get off of there. And a little bit of chili powder. And then, uh, when you think you don't have anything food to, food to eat in the house, just dump it in there. Spices, empty it, dead soldier, dead soldier, cumin, gone. Put it all in there. You're getting it all over the stove. Get it in the stove, get it in the pot, whatever. Uh, yeah, if you don't have a lot of food, just add more spices to it. So, there you go. We don't need nothing else. I don't need no salt and pepper in here. We just cook this up. And, uh, so, there you go. This is kind of like, uh, Army-wise, at the end of the month, they'll be like, man, it's two days before payday. What are we going to eat? We ain't got nothing. Hey, this is your kind of meal. So, let that cook for a couple of minutes. Keep that chicken going. We'll be back in a few. Okay, so my chicken's been going about, I don't know, four minutes or so. Something like that. I'm going to add my onions now. We're going to give that another three or four minutes, something like that. I don't know. I'm drinking. It maybe take 14 minutes. Well, knows. it better not. It's cooking. We'll be back. Okay, uh, chicken and onions is where I want them. So I'm going to put the treso in now. And I just, it's already cooked. I just got to heat it up. I'm going to give us about three minutes. And then we'll come back and show what we do next. So, there we go. Thinking outside the box. Improvising. That's what we're doing tonight. Improvising. Making a meal from nothing. So, we'll be back in about three minutes. Okay, so, uh, I got this uh, heated up for a one. I'm going to put the Rotel in there. This is fire roast the Rotel. And get all them goodies out of there. 
get out of there. Store this up. We'll give us a minute or two and then we'll come back and add some barbecue sauce to it. We're getting close to being done. And uh, so, let that cook for a minute or two and then we'll be back. Okay, uh, this is about as hot as I want it. And you can see I got all the fond off of the bottom of the pan. And uh, so we got all them flavors out of there. So now I'm just going to dump a bunch of pasta in here. I didn't strain this, if you can see, because I want some of that pasta water to go into my sauce here. That'll thicken it up. And uh, it's got salt in the water because I, I uh, boiled the pasta in the salt. And I didn't need any salt to this earlier. Give us a mix and see how much we're going to need. I don't know how much that pasta I'm going to need. But we'll put in as much as I think. Tara keeps moving my pan on me. Because she thinks I'm going to make a mess. Make a mess. I always do. It's my kitchen. Then you clean it. I do sometimes. Or call the maid. Well, this maid's on vacation. Hey, you ain't on vacation yet. So, we'll stir that around a bit. You see, you can actually make a meal from nothing. You don't think you can. You don't think you got anything in the house to eat. But I'm showing you, you can do it. Of course, we have to taste it later and to see if it works or not, but it's my kitchen, so I know it's going to work. Put a little bit more pasta in there. Drop one on the floor for the dog. He'd be happy. That'd be enough. We'll give us about two minutes, and we'll come back. We'll put our barbecue sauce on there. And Terry did ask me, why do I need the barbecue sauce with this? And it was like, well, because uh, it was in the icebox. I needed to get rid of it. And it will give it more flavor. So, there you go. Go two minutes like that. We'll come back with the sauce. See what happens. Be back in a few. Okay, uh... I had Terry try this before I added barbecue sauce to it. Just because she was like asking me why do I need the barbecue sauce. And I'm like because I have it. And no it didn't need any barbecue sauce. Uh, she's on her second helping now. Show them your plate there Terry. Yeah her first helping wasn't that big but that's how much she liked it. It was what, a couple of bites. It was what? What you gave me to taste. Pretty fucking tasty, wasn't it? It's good, man. It actually is. It's really good. Uh, it's different. You taste the cumin. Hell, you can taste a lot of stuff in here, man. But it's tasty. And, uh... You know, when you, when you think you don't have anything to cook in the house, you gotta friggin' improvise, man. Just throw shit in the pot. That's what I've been telling you for five years now. Just throw shit in the pot. And make it. And sometimes you surprise yourself. Like I did tonight. It's actually turned out better than I thought it would. It, it really did. Uh... We're going to go eat. Y'all going to improvise. Make you a meal out of nothing. Cover it as bare, you think. It's only as bare as your imagination. Go make you some dinner. Y'all have a good one. We'll be back next time. Tell you're going to go eat. I'm going to go drink some beer. Cheers.